Another plumbing trade calculations video. In this one, we'll learn how to find the fitting allowance for a pipe that inserts into the pipe fitting. This could be a copper pipe and fitting. This could be a PVC copper pipe and fitting. This could be uh, uh, ABS copper pipe and fitting or CPVC pipe and fitting. <clears throat> Again, we got our diagram here on the left hand side shows a fitting, a 90 degree fitting. And on the top up here is a piece of pipe that's inserting into the fitting. Again, it only can go so far in. We have our three terms here. We have our FA or fitting allowance, which is where the pipe stops inside the fitting to the center line of the other um, outlet of the pipe, which stays the same. We have our center to face measurement again from the face of the fitting over to the center line of the other outlet that's face to center or FC. And lastly, instead of uh, for our black mobile iron fittings here <coughs> where we had uh, engagement, we're now going to have insertion death. So ID insertion death. And it goes from the face of the fitting where the pipe goes in to where the pipe stops inside the fitting. That measurement there is known as insertion death. So first up, in order to find the fitting allowance, we need to uh, get the face to center measurement. And there's a number of ways of getting it, either off the specs from the manufacturer of the fitting or by simply measuring from the face of the fitting to the center. So measuring from the face over to the center with our measuring tape. Once we got that, our second thing that we need to do is get our insertion depth. We can do this a couple of ways. We can uh, measure if the the fitting is big enough. We can get our measuring tape inside. We can go measure from the face to where the pipe stops inside. If it's a much smaller fitting, we can either measure on the outside of the fitting from the face to where the pipe will stop, usually indicated by a little bit of a bump there on the side as it slopes or starts to slope down. And then the other way we can do it is by taking a piece of pipe, dry fitting it all the way in to the uh, fitting, making a mark on the pipe where it stops on the outside by the face, pulling that piece of pipe out and measuring from the end of the pipe to where we mark that line. Again, giving us the insertion depth. Now that we have those two things, we can do our final calculation. Our final calculation will be FA. In order to find FA, we take our face to center measurement and we subtract our pipe insertion depth. So our insertion depth, our ID, we subtract it from our face to center, and then we get our, fi our fitting allowance. Um, you could also write this formula as FA equals FC minus fitting socket depth. This is the same as saying insertion depth. And again, this is how we find the FA using a uh, dry fitted or a piece of pipe that goes inserts in that is, is not threaded. <clears throat>